Hey friends, welcome to Chemistry Lover. And first of all, I am very sorry that I am not able to make videos for you regarding the CSI NET exam because nowadays I am very much busy with my research work. But this is the high time because only one month is left for your CSI NET exam and this time is for you you have to utilize the full time you cannot waste your time and so I am making this video for you to give you some tips and tricks that how you can utilize this last month for your better result right so I will be talking about two type of candidates for the CSI NET exam first one is the people who are appearing for the first time the new new uh, candidates or the fresh candidates and they are basically from the MSc first year or second year and the other type of candidates are who are the repeater uh, either they are in the last year of MSc or they are MSc pass out so the first part is for the fresh candidates and the second part of this video is for the repeaters so for the fresh candidates what are your advantages and what are your disadvantages that you have to find out first now your disadvantages are you are in the first or second year of MSc and that means your whole syllabus is not complete so you are premature for the exam so this is your dis disadvantages and also you have your semester exams and other things so you are busy and you will not uh, get much time for the preparation of CSI NET exam but what are your advantages your advantages are you are the fresh candidates and that means your BSc topics whatever you read in the BSc that has a fresh memory for you right so this is your adv advantages and if you look at the syllabus for the CSI NET exam you will see that lot of things from BSc are included in the MSc syllabus or in the CSI NET exam syllabus for example in the organic chemistry part all the basic things the stereochemistry basically the all the organic chemistry is already taught in the BSc just you have to practice the questions for physical chemistry like the solid state the electrochemistry part the thermodynamics all the things are taught in the BSc inorganic also the periodic table and the other things like the basic organometallic chemistry the coordination chemistry all the things radioactivity all the things are taught in BSc so what you have to do is you have to focus more on your BSc topics because in this one month you can again uh, revise all those things very easily because you, you already did that topic so this is your advantage now what other things you have to do is you have to solve at least six years of CSI NET exams questions previous six year questions you have to solve that will help you a lot I am not saying that you will get common from the questions that is not true but you will have an idea of how the questions are there because you are the fresh candidates and having an idea about the exam this is most important for you so this is for you and I I, I, I can give you guarantee that if you follow this two things that if you revise your BSc things and of course you have to combine your uh, things what you, you you have read in your MSc so if you do that and then solve the questions you will have a very good result now let us come for the repeaters so for the repeaters one thing is that so the revision of question paper of previous year exam that is common you have you have to do this and for the repeaters I will suggest to solve at least uh, 10 years of the previous year question paper because you are preparing for the exam so that will not be a difficult task for you right and then what you have to do you have, you have to actually revise all the things but here uh, what is difference with the fresh candidates is that you can choose the topics from your field because uh, you almost covered all the things uh, from the BSc to MSc so now you have choice and if you are good in organic you can focus more, more on organic if you are good in inorganic you can focus more on inorganic because from organic you covered all the things from physical you covered all the things because you are uh, the you are the candidates who are mostly pass out MSc pass out candidates right so you know the syllabus you know the things so this will be easy for you and for all the candidates one suggestion is physical chemistry part you have to re revise the formula the numerical problems you have to revise and all the numerical formulas you have to remember because formulas are important for this competitive exams for organic part you have to know the name reactions and inorganic is little bit easier so I am not giving uh, much attention for that so these are the things you have to do well uh, during this last month of your exam and if you want videos regarding CSI NET exam I think 
in my channel i covered all the important aspect of organic chemistry all the difficult things of organic chemistry if you want you can go through the videos and lastly uh, best of luck for you thank you for watching